Hello everybody, I'm back once again from the Gooseth, but then again, video form. And this time, I've come with another small care guide and a little bit of an update on what the ch channel is going to be doing. So, firstly, uh, let's begin with saying I have kept these fish before. They're great fish. And... I think they'll really be a nice choice for you. As you see, these fish are quite beautiful little fish with a little yellow, red, pink stripe going down the side, white tipped fins, and red on the tail, and a silvery base body with some red lips at times. These fish are none the. No. are actually called white cloud mountain minnows. They are a cold water fish, small, like, inch, maybe, yeah, you know, like I said, they grow about inch, maybe two inches. They really like cold water, though, so you have to accommodate to that. Like, if you have, like, this fish that needs, like, 78 degrees, you cannot keep these with them. There's, like, no chance of it. You really, really need this fish as, like, a point fish. That, like, has their own thing, has their own sort of setup. One fish that I would really, really recommend it, recommend to keep with these are either colder water quarries or hillstream loaches. They both are very cold water, like, fast-flowing water. Need to keep it clean. They, uh, like, uh, slightly acidic to mid-hardness, uh, like, between 6 and 8.5 uh, in pH level, and you also want water hardness, you want low to mid hardness, but a, uh, slightly more neutral pH level, in, or even then, slightly harder pH level. I know that I have super hard water here, but they're able to really thrive in my water. But then again, that may be because I have a lot of plants in my tank. That brings me to the point. These fish look beautiful with a like layer of green plants like just layering behind them with these like little silver looking fish swimming around in circles in a school with this nice red stripe going down the middle they are beautiful like that but you gotta really really work with them for that and they're also very very easy to breed like you can keep the you can breed them in i'd say 10 gallons like these are really easy breeding fish, as long as you have, like, the correct parameters, enough plants, enough spaces for the babies to go hiding, then you may actually naturally breed these guys. They are a really cool fish. I haven't had that happen in my tanks yet, but I'm hoping for eventually. So, uh, another thing that I really like doing with these fish is they do a lot of outdoor ponds really well. Uh, they love outdoor ponds. They can, like, just have that nice big area. That's actually really where people get them breeding, like, extremely well. So, just something to put in your mind. You may consider trying to put these outside. These fish are, uh, fish that would eat small little insects. Insects, worms, all that. Uh, the one food that I find that they really like is called uh nano, nano pellets from hikari they love those like they go berserk for that also they for some reason really like uh baby food from hikari uh i i get a lot from hikari don't i uh i know that they also really love frozen bloodworms but what doesn't uh a nice balanced flake could work for them i just don't like flakes they're just Mm, weird for them. I like flakes for, like, platies and light bears and that sort of thing, but not as much for, like, schooling fish. It just doesn't bring out as much action in them, really. Uh, they are a extremely peaceful fish. They will not nip anything's fins. Like, I have, uh, three guppies in with my school of white clouds and not a nip in them, uh, for, like, from there. But when I had them with, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it was leopard danios. They were getting torn apart. Like, don't know why. 
but my Leopardanios were extremely aggressive next to my guppies. So I sadly had to move them over from the 15 gallon into my 10 gallon. Uh, but now they're all living all together, the white clouds, the guppies, all that. I'm actually having babies growing up in there, so probably have a little bit of video of those later. Uh, the one, the one sort of fish that, uh, I wouldn't keep with these guys would be either aggressive fish or super slow fish. Because these fish will, like, gobble up all the food, like, immediately before those slow fish can get to it. Like, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't keep these with bettas. Uh, I wouldn't keep these fish with maybe... A, some other larger fish wouldn't really work very well with them, but some really good uh, ones would be platies, mollies, live bearers, a lot of live bearers, guppies, shrimp, corridoras. Those are all really, really good choices to keep with these fish. Uh, one other thing, like, if you're interested in breeding these fish, uh, you can, you should try and buy... Uh, separate breeding tanks if you want to really like really get into it but if you're just doing it passively I don't see a problem with just having a f having like one oh oh there's a new one now that's fine that's fine so once these uh, babies are born you'll want to feed them brine shrimp uh, other small shrimp foods I went up baby brine uh, lots of small micro foods uh, I know Hikari Hikari's great. Okay, so, uh, Hikari, anything, really. Uh, and once you have stable water parameters for these guys and suitable temperature, nothing much else to worry about. Like, these guys are really simple. They're extremely hardy. They can live with almost anything, unless it's really warm water, or just warm water. And you don't need a heater for these guys, don't, me don't need a huge tank, I'd say you can keep like a small group of like four of them in a five gallon, four or five of them in a five gallon, but for like a big like, you can do like a massive like species tank with these guys, like a nice river tank with like a bunch of these uh, minnows like flowing up where the river would be, with like these large stones scattered about on the bottom with the scenario running through the top and that would just be phenomenal. Phenomenal. And that's it. That's all I have on White Cloud Mountain Minnows. Watch some fish tanks. Also, I am hoping to do a little bit of fishing videos in the future. I... Uh, just saying, I want to do that sort of thing. Now that I have a GoPro, uh, I'm going to be getting chest strap, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm sorry if the audio won't be the best, because I don't actually have uh, an external mic for it yet, or a skeleton case, so might just need to work with it. Uh, I I'd recommend just turning the volume way up constantly. Uh, I'm really sorry for that, but what, what I gotta do right now. Uh, but I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Like I said, more some fish tanks.